Memes. We all know what they are. The viral internet phenomena come as links, pictures, audios, texts or videos and spread quickly all over the internet. But what are they really? And are they art? The term meme was coined by Richard Dawkins. It originated from Dawkins' 1976 book The Selfish Gene. The meme is the subject of meme theory and describes a single content of consciousness, for example a thought. It can be passed on through communication and thus reproduced, and thus socially, culturally inherited in a similar way as genes are genetically inheritable. Quite correspondingly, meme is thus subject to a socio-cultural evolution that can largely be described with the same theories. Similarly, changes are possible in the transfer, for example, by misunderstanding or different views where environmental influences can increase or suppress the further spread. Dawkins commented the new usage of his term in 2013, saying that these internet phenomena are not far from what he meant describing memes. Memes have a huge importance in our culture today. They are used as a way to express thoughts and feelings, invoke a discussion and so on. The only thing that is irrelevant in memes is beauty and aestheticism. That is why the majority of people do not think of them as art. Another thing that is linked to this debate is that people often think of art as what is known under an institutional concept of art, which means that art is what is presented in art museums. But actually, if you compare some of the artworks hanging in museums with some popular memes, you can see huge parallels. For example, let's compare these two. On the right, we see an artwork of the popular artist Michelangelo, the masterpiece created at the beginning of the 16th century focuses on original sin. Adam and Eve are driven out of paradise after their act. The artwork can be seen in the Sistine Chapel in Rome. On the left we see a meme using the Am I a joke to you template to express God's feelings about the act of Adam and Eve. The two pictures actually express the same thing, just in a different way. Or these two. On the right we see an artwork by the artist Jean-Léon Jérôme created 1866. It shows a Middle Eastern scene in which a naked woman is offered in public as a saleable product. The depiction of an exotic world painted in the style of Orientalism did not correspond to real events but to the sexualized fantasies of European audiences. The paintings belong to the collection of the Sterling and Francine Clark Art Institute in Williamstown, Massachusetts. On the left we see a meme that rates brown meme man from a negative point of view using the Spongebob feeding Tedeus template. The two pictures express the same thing, so why is one art but the other is not? Saying that the artworks are painted beautifully is not an argument since beauty is a matter of taste and art is not measured by beauty but by what it expresses. Internet memes offer something that is quintessential to the visual arts that is the ability to express something vague or that cannot be fully expressed with words alone. Just as famous paintings and sculptures, etc. give us an insight into a past culture, memes are also a testimony not only of how people currently live, think or feel, but also that in the age of internet we live in an ever faster world in which almost everyone, at any time, in almost any place, can produce something and put it on the internet and it can spread within seconds.